are easy for us to make, and the best part is, you can show off to your family and friends. What, let's say one day your mom's co-worker comes over and asks who made the delicious orange herbs you're chowing down on, and you say, I made those orange herbs. It'd be really nice for you to just have that pride in you, for you to make those delicious foods. Well, you may not understand it now, but that's why you should join the show, so you can understand what I'm trying to say to you. Well, I hope you like the show and you join us in making these delicious foods that you can one day make yourselves. See ya! Let's get started. Today I'll be making strawberry banana pudding. First, you'll take out your glass pan. And here we have no wafers, pre-cut strawberries, pre-cut cherries, and four bananas in your instant pudding. First, I will pick the wafers, and I'm going to spread them across and on the outside of it, so it's like standing up, you know? Yeah. Personally, I think these are delicious just by themselves, too. This is what I'm talking about. This is the this is the delicious part, but we're also going to be adding some fruits and That'll be the nutritious part. And make sure they're standing up on the outside too. Okay. Okay. I cut them so that they're in slices, you know. I like them to be a little bit smaller so they can just, you know, spread equally along the cookies. Okay, one more time. Alrighty then. So I'm going to take them, I'm going to spread these along it. Yeah, this is already going to be delicious, I can, I can tell already. Yeah. <laughs> Some of you probably don't like fruits like I do, but trust me, once you put it in a dish like this, you'll be wanting to have this more often. Now we're gonna take some more cookies and do another layer over the bananas so that they cover the bananas. Smells good. Mm. Mm -hmm. Then I'm gonna do two more bananas. And do the same thing I did with the other bananas. Two little slices. Be careful of your fingers. Okay. Cover these up. Okay, just a little bit more wafers on. That's good. Now I'll put the do the pudding. I'm gonna get a medium sized bowl out. Wooden spoons. Some measuring cups for some measuring. First, I'm gonna get all my stuff out that I need for the pudding, which is milk. I'm 
gonna use three cups of this. First, I'm gonna put the pudding in. Take the bag out. Pour it in the bowl. And this is instant pudding, so it's not gonna take as long as regular pudding would. You know, quick meals. Some of us want to just make our own food, you know? We don't want to have to wait for that old fancy stuff and everything. I know I don't. This here is one cup. I'm going to do three cups of this. Mm hmm There we go. One cup. Two cups. Might get a little messy, but be careful. Mm -hmm. Three cups. And there you go. Now we're gonna stir it with one of your spoons. See no lumps. Smooth texture and everything. Now I'm gonna pour it over it. Take your spoon. Make sure it goes all over it. Mm-hmm. Ooh, looks yummy. Mm-hmm. Looking great. There we go. It's nice. Now, I'm going to take myself some pre-cut strawberries. Yummy, right? Yummy. And I'm going to put them over the top. This is the part where it's sort of for decorating, but it's also really good to eat. And then it comes out good. Mm-hmm. Yum. Mm. And then, after I do these strawberries, I'm going to take some strawberry syrup. Yeah, strawberry syrup. Ooh, I'm going to sprinkle this along it. Ooh, that looks delicious. Ooh, yummy. Mm-hmm. And put a little cherries over it. Mmm. Yum. You got to shake it good. Make sure it's all whipped up in there. Yeah. That looks delicious. You don't even know. You can see it, of course, but yummy. You know what? I think I'll put a little bit more whipped cream on it. Mmm. Mmm, yummy. Just wait till you try it. <sighs> okay, now I taught you how to make it. You try it for yourself. Remember, I'm Shmori, and this is Culinary for Kids. Bye. Mmm. Delicious.